All right, so we got the 99 hip stretch here. So you can see both my legs are in somewhat of a 90 degree position. One is doing external rotation as the other is doing internal rotation. I like to just kind of oscillate in and out of the position a little bit. I'm not trying to bounce or anything into the position, but just oscillating back and forth just creates movement and it's just mobilizing those joints into those desired motions. You can see how I want to kind of push my chest straight over my toe as best I can. Now your body's going to try to pitch you one way, but you want to just try to keep it upright and just lean forward and back and just try to get some mobility in those hips. Now you're going to see we're going to pop over to the wall for a wall assisted couch stretch. This wall assisted couch stretch is gonna transition into the world's greatest stretch here in a second, but you gotta get in this position first. So one foot back up there, uh, front foot out in front of you, leaning into a nice big lunge type stretch for the hip flexors, getting everything opened up. You can see a side profile here. And again, I'm just gonna oscillate in and out of the stretch, do a little contract, relax by squeezing my glute and pushing forward. I could even get into this position if trying to get upright is too tough. Um, but there's a lot of different ways to scale this up and scale this down. If you find that you can't get your foot up on the wall because there's too much tightness in your quads, you could put it on a medicine ball or you don't even have to have it on a medicine ball at all. You don't even have to have it elevated. But this is the optimal position, getting up against the wall, getting that uh, real big stretch in the front of the hip, keeping the core tight, contracting and relaxing with the glutes, and then boom, here we go. Now we're adding thoracic rotation here. This is what they kind of call the world's greatest stretch. So that's me doing a little scaled down version. So you can see there's lots of different ways to do it, but this is a fantastic stretch to open up a ton of things. Quick way to get some hip mobility, thoracic mobility, and, uh, and do it in a time efficient manner. And it's somewhat dynamic throughout the entire process where you're oscillating, you're moving, you're mobilizing, uh, you're just getting the blood flowing. It's just an all around effective and efficient combination.